many believers are doing a very, very foolish thing. And that is, they doubt the Holy Spirit that Jesus sent to guide us into all truth. Jesus promised us the Holy Spirit, the Helper, to guide us into all truth. I read from John chapter 14 verse 26. Jesus said, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. I also read a John 15 verse 26. When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, that is the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness of me. Many believers do not trust the Holy Spirit. They don't want the Holy Spirit. They trust the Bible. They trust the preachers. They don't trust the Holy Spirit. They say they test the Spirit's by using the Bible. Can we test the spirit of truth? When Jesus said that the spirit of truth will guide us into all truth and will teach us, will tell us all things. Now we doubt the spirit of truth that Jesus sent to guide us and we are testing him it is a sin to test God. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. And now people foolishly want to test the Holy Spirit. Any spirit or any body that does not bring you closer to Jesus, to righteousness and to holiness, that is not the Spirit of God. But it is a grave mistake to doubt the Holy Spirit. We must seek Jesus in prayer and ask Him for the Holy Spirit and He will give us the Spirit of truth. We must trust Him and keep on praying and He will guide us into all truth. But if we do not pray and keep on praying and if we do not trust Him, in the first place we will never get to know Jesus and we will not find the truth. We must not be foolish, friends. Jesus is alive. The Bible talks about Jesus. But we must get to know Jesus. Don't be foolish. Get to know Jesus. Trust the Holy Spirit. And he will guide you into all truth. May Jesus bless you.